Hey everyone, we're back again to expose the YouTube scammer Christopher Mitchell, as well as his wife. We're going to expose the couple tonight. So with that said, we're going to walk down memory lane. We're going to play these clips of Christopher Mitchell swearing on the Bible, not once, but twice, that he never did gay porn. The first time uh, he swore on the Bible, the very next time uh, after I exposed him, uh, he created some uh, fictional story. You'll hear it. Uh, about how he was 18 and he only did uh, one masturbation scene. So with that said, let's play these clips. And uh, they're a prelude to what's to come on this uh, great video. Roll it. Um, this right here, this is uh, my personal Holy Bible. As you can see, it's got my name right there, Christopher Mitchell. And I'll just open it up so you guys can see. Um... So we've got Psalms. I just opened up the Bible. Um, the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because my wife and I are Christians. Uh, we truly do help people. We give a lot of our money to our church and to different charities. And um, I just want you guys to see, I have my hand on my Bible. And uh, I swear as God is my witness, I've never done gay porn. I've never done any kind of porn. I've never had sex with a man, let alone put it out there on video. So, and uh, I swear as God is my witness, I've never done gay porn. I've never done any kind of porn. I've never, and uh, I swear as God is my witness, I've never done gay porn. I've never done any kind of porn. I've never. So after we busted him on that lie, he makes another video the very next day uh, with some bullshit story about how he only did some masturbation scene because he was broke and he was only 18, yada, yada, yada. So let's uh, roll it. To today, present day, uh, I'm going to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. I'm going to put to sleep um, a hater and his uh, delusional followers. The only person or people that are going to sleep are the ones that listen to you say the same crap 100 times within a video. Like a skipping record. And um, I want to address the so-called... Christians of the world who judge others when the Bible clearly tells you not to judge others because God will judge you. So like I did in a video yesterday, I'm going to do it again just for the record. So I'm going to put my hand on the Bible and I'm going to swear under oath as God is my witness. Yeah, speaking of that video, whatever happened to that video, Christopher? Where did it go? And the one before that where you're counting the money, well, they got deleted. And a couple others got deleted at the same time. Why, Christopher? Why'd you do that? I know why. Could it be that all four videos were exposed with so many lies that you're trying to delete them and hide them and hopefully your viewers will forget all the lies you got caught on? And then you're going to try to come clean on a new video of my true story from birth till now with your hand on the Bible, right? I bet you think you had it all planned out. Let's keep on seeing what happens. Everything I'm going to share in this video is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Getting caught once swearing on the Bible is bad enough. But getting caught twice swearing on the Bible? I don't know if there's any kind of words that could describe it. Everything I'm going to share in this video is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So folks, again, I want to remind you, I'm about to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So after a week of living at the infamous Ed Connors mansion in Venice Beach, California, he politely asked me to leave. So he asked me to leave, and that's fine. So at that point, he gave me $100 to leave, pretty much used it for gas and some food. And now I've been in L.A. for a week, and I still have never checked in any place else because the second I arrived at Gold's Gym, I got introduced to Ed Connors and stayed at his mansion for a week. But now I'm back in my beat-up 1988 white Toyota Camry. There's that beat-up Toyota white Camry story again. And I'm driving the streets of Los Angeles, and I don't have any money but maybe 85 bucks after I put gas in my car. And I don't know what to do. Folks, this is the truth. So I'm driving around the streets of Los Angeles. Got about 85 bucks to my name. Don't know anybody. Uh, don't have any place to go. If I rent myself a cheap motel room, all the money is going to be gone and I'll have nothing left. 
So I remembered I went to a Burger King and got myself a combo meal. And I'm praying in my car, God, what do I do? I'm here in Los Angeles by myself. I don't know what to do. You had a real job like every other American, but yet you decided to do gay porn. So as an 18-year-old boy, didn't want to... As an 18-year-old boy in one of the biggest cities in the world with literally 85 bucks to your name, driving in a beat-up car, you don't know anybody, you don't have anywhere to go, what would you do? You had a real job like every other American, but yet you decided to do gay porn. Now keep in mind, I've got a very well-built body because I've been bodybuilding for a couple of years. Sounds like you could have immediately began construction labor. But again, you decided to do gay porn. That you hardly ever even see anymore. And there was this little trade paper called LA Weekly. Now, I'm assuming LA Weekly is still out. I don't know. But I picked up an LA Weekly, and I was looking in the classified section because I'm thinking, what do I do? I need to get a job or something. And in the classified section, I see an ad, and it says this. Muscle guys wanted. I'm like, hmm, muscle guys wanted? Well... I don't know how big of a muscle guy is wanted, but I've got some muscles. And the little classified ad said, muscle guys wanted $2,000 for one hour. Folks, are you listening to what I'm saying right now? I'm living in my beat up car. So I called the number and I said, hi, I'm calling about the muscle guys wanted. I'm a young bodybuilder. I've got some muscles. What's this about? And the voice on the other end, here's what the voice said. I'll pay you $2,000 for an hour to pose nude and to masturbate. And I'm like, really? I'm like, that's it? Like, I'm by myself and I got to pose nude and I got to masturbate. That's it. And the voice said, yeah. I said, done deal, where do I sign? I didn't have sex with another man, which would be considered gay and homosexual. I didn't have sex with another man, which would be considered gay and homosexual. The fact straight from my mouth. Because I have people out there saying I'm a gay porn star. August. 2010, Christopher Mitchell becomes Kyle Prescott at Colt. A gay porn star. Well, let's break that down. What is a gay porn star? What is gay? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't gay when a person has sex with another person of the same gender? Like two females having sex, that's gay. Or two males having sex, that's gay. That is what gay is. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. True or false? A little golden nugget my researchers found today. Because people are saying I'm a gay porn star. But when I put my hand on the Holy Bible and swore that I've never done gay porn before, and I swore that I've never had sex with another man before, and people are calling me a liar, where did I lie? Because I didn't lie. I've never lied. I've never done gay porn, which is having sex with another man on camera. And I've never had sex with a man off the camera. On the Bible, and I'm going to swear under oath as God is my witness, everything I'm going to share in this video is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Turn around and tell those people. That I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women, 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 I said women, I'm not gay, I would not date a man, I would not tear a purse, I would not put on makeup, I will, I will love a woman. So again, he said he was 18, we already made a video about this, but let's re recap. In uh, 2010, which he was 31, signed exclusively here with Colt Studio, okay? And then this uh, Queer Porn Nation sent out a tweet. And then uh, under the archive comments on the tweet, we have this guy, Jumper, 
said he used to look hot with an amazing body. Now he just looks like Sean Hayes on the gym for a year. Not too bad, but compare this to his old look. He looks really skinny. Hope he knows how to fucking get fucked by a guy because if he claimed he's straight, then I'm going to shoot myself. And then this guy, Topsy Turvy, says he also did a couple frat man videos a few years back as, as Kyle. He's not bulked up in those and uh, pretty fucking hot. Then we have Spline says he also did the softcore video for Sharpshooter called College Swim Team, billed as Kyle Adams. He did some other soft work too around that time in the early 2000s. And I'm sure he used to use the name Kyle Prescott. I used to think he was hot. Now with those precious plucked eyebrows, he does just look like Sean Hayes from Will and Grace. I thought he was strictly straight trade, but these picks, especially the one from the side, barely scream ween. A bad case of gay face. Should quit pit plucking the brows and give up his still sweet and ample ass. Then we have Jason. So he seems to go by Kyle a lot. The guy is a better shape than last year when he posed for Chaos Men, but far cry from his bodybuilding days a decade ago. What shows his age, what shows his age is his overprimped eyebrows and receding hairline. Queer whatever H2 does not look the same, but happened what happened to his muscles? I believe he used to have blonde hair. What happened? Then we have Phil. It says, God, you queens are vapid. Man still looks great and has a killer smile. A lot of blondes naturally get darker hair with his age. My best friend was very fair when his teens and 20s and now is quite dark, almost brunette. How many of us look like that good? <laughs> So as we all saw, he can look straight into the camera, put his hand on the Bible, and tell bold-faced lies, all right? He's had many, many stints in the gay porn scene. His most recent was when he was 31, all right? So that's, uh, that's just, so that pretty much proves the kind of character he is, and now we're going to go into some serious, serious stuff. And now we're going to expose this supposedly great Christian couple they do all kinds of stuff for the community. Bullshit. They are fucking pure scumbags. Pure trash. All right. And now we're going to expose it. So from 2013 to 2016, when Stacy lost her daughter in uh, custody rights, we're going to fill in the blanks. In 2013, she went down to Florida with her friend for a girl's vacation. Ended up meeting Chris, hung out with him for a little bit, and then came back. And then Chris called her uh, then friend and said he wanted to come visit in Ohio where a friend put uh, begged Stacy to put him up. So Christopher stayed with Stacy, and then after a while, her friends were like, when's he leaving? When's he leaving? And Stacy's repeated responses with, I don't know, proving just how weak and pathetic and uh, how manipulated she was getting, being by Chris. So later that year, she ended up, ended up marrying him and uh, where... Her daughter resided uh, with the couple, with Stacy and Christopher, from 2013 to 16. Now, from court records, these are some of the nasty, disgusting, despicable, vile events that happened from 2013 to 2016 after the couple was married. Christopher was trying to use Stacy's daughter as a ploy in his uh, mark in his marketing business, his Ponzi pyramid scheme business trying to make it look like they're, uh, he was a family man, a couple, uh, trying to say that, trying to brainwash her, saying he could be a real day, and this infuriated her ex-husband. Christopher was caught repeatedly talking to Stacy's then eight-year-old daughter about rape and other sexual topics. Christopher was caught watching gay porn where Stacy's daughter and other children in house could see of her his then ex-business partners. Christopher and Stacy's home had search warrants issued multiple times by court. Christopher has been doing ACN networking pyramid schemes, scamming people for nine years. 
Stacy cashed out her retirement to hide her retirement fund to hide it from her ex-husband and gave it to Chris for their pyramid scam business. Stacy and Chris were evicted from numerous homes. Chris was caught lying in court about owning a car, about having a valid driver's license while driving a car, among other things he lied about. Stacy's ex-husband gave his daughter his old phone and cleared all the info. When Chris found out, he violated his court order that he could not be near her daughter and retrieved nude pics of Stacy's ex and new wife, prompting the courts to issue a search warrant of Chris and Stacy's residence where, ultim where items were seized. The reason why that uh, prompted the courts is because Stacy's husband found out this out and knew Chris violated the court order as well as lied about um, his husband or her ex-husband not uh, deleting all the info. Since 2016, Stacy has been denied new multiple times of custody rights. Chris is in court ordered not to be near Stacy's daughter, and Stacy can only see her daughter under supervision and hasn't had a sleepover since 2016. Stace, so with all that said, mul multiple other items uh, happen. Basically, it comes down to Stacy chose her gay, porn, nasty, lying, piece of shit, scamming husband over her own daughter, knowing all the shit that he did during that time, knowing that her ex-husband was giving her a chance to do the right thing. And it's all, everything's in court court documents, okay? And other witnesses that got a hold of me. She, and he was imploring her to do the right thing, and she wouldn't. Therefore, he filed an emergency uh, hearing. The court granted it, came in, police came in, swooped in, grabbed the daughter from her, and she hasn't had custody ever since. And she's tried multiple times, and she's lost. Why? Because the courts don't want her near, the daughter near a gay, porn, lying, scamming scumbag like Christopher Mitchell, as well as all the other shit that he did. The watching of the gay porn. All right. So what's happened? What happened? Christopher and Stacy decides to sue her ex-husband for two million dollars saying he cost Christopher all kinds of money and and all kinds of shit he was lying about to courts that got uh, her daughter taken away from her and yada 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 and this went on for a while all right so bottom line the the lawsuit ends up getting dropped why because Chris and Stacy lied to their lawyers about numerous bullshit events and then Christopher's or uh, Stacy's ex-husband subpoenaed records um, to about car records and driver's license, but most importantly, the gay porn that Chris vehemently kept denying, in denying, said he never did gay porn, never did gay porn, never watched gay porn, all this other shit, okay? And he kept lying, just like he did a couple weeks ago, lying about doing the gay porn to the courts. Well, Stacy's ex-husband subpoenaed Colt Studios, and guess what? Within a week, Stacy dropped the lawsuit, and two weeks after that, Christopher dropped this two million dollar, two million dollar lawsuit. Why? Why did they drop it after all this stuff that got subpoenaed? Because they lied to their lawyers. Their lawyers knew it, and they lied to the courts prior to their <laughs> dropping the lawsuits. All right. And that's exactly what happened. The fucking pure scumbag trash that this these people are, all right? She lost her daughter. She gave up a daughter for fucking that piece of fucking scumbag, all right? She knew he was talking to her about rape and sexual into at eight years old. She knew that he got caught watching gay porn in the household that her daughter and other children 
were in and present that they could watch. She knew about all the other stuff he's done. And she didn't take action. In fact, worse, she lost her daughter because of it. Her ex-husband warned her multiple times this was going to happen if she didn't take action. And she didn't. And where are we today? She's fucking away from her daughter in the presence of her new baby drinking dra dragging this baby to casino to casino for her degenerate scamming piece of shit scumbag husband and she's drinking with the baby in her lap that's what fucking kind of people you're dealing with all right and to say this guy is not a scammer this guy can look dead in the camera with his hand on the Bible and tell bold faith lie after lie, all right? So those are the type of people they really are. They're not Christians. They're not true Bible thumpers. They are fucking pure fucking trash. They will say and do anything to get people's money, to scam them out of money. They've been doing it for years after years. If it wasn't for some pyramid Ponzi scheme, now it was the fucking bullshit per, uh, professional gambling Baccarat scams. And if when this is over, it's going to be another scam, all right? Because as he, you, everyone hears him say, he's not getting a job. He's never getting a job. They are fucking pure trash. They will say and do anything anything to get people's money they will fucking scam and scam it says everything that this fucking piece of trash cunt gave up her daughter for this piece of fucking trash lying sack of shit scamming fucking gay porn queer piece of fucking garbage all right fake ass christians scamming scumbags Oh, and if all that info wasn't good enough and all my other videos wasn't good enough, here's another tidbit for you guys. They're supposed to be well-off millionaires, right? Oh, they're living the dream. They're living the high roller life. Hmm, what are we staring at now? Oh, this looks like a court judgment in the attorney general sent to the attorney general's office in Ohio for Stacy and collections. Hmm, I've never heard of any millionaires in collections and for courts. Mm, yeah, they're millionaires, all right. All right, yeah. Fucking scumbag pieces of shit. So with that said, stay tuned for more videos, okay? We are backed up, and we're just going to continue to hammer home until this piece of shit goes away, all right? Fucking, fucking cunt gives up her daughter. My God. Way to go, Stacy. Hmm, way to be, uh controlled and manipulated by that narcissist he's got you wrapped all right and you're gonna you guys are just fucking gonna drive off the he's steering you right off the cliff you stupid cunt wake the fuck up you dumb bitch get your life back in order go back to nursing find a real man a real man not some bisexual scamming scumbag midget okay get your family life in order all right, get some fucking morals. If you want to be a Christian, be a Christian. Don't act like a scamming scumbag cunt. Your daughter needs you, all right? She needs you. She's needed you for the longest time, and you've been absent. In fact, you've been worse than absent. You fucking chose a gay porn scammer over her. Think about that. She's a child. She can't, doesn't know any better, but you do. You fucking garbage. Sorry about that, folks. With that said, hope everybody's having a great weekend, a great night. Stay tuned. Take care.